Live Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. Yeah, go Panthers. And in Spartanburg, it's looking pretty good outside. I'll show you the temperature in just a second. Uh, still some clouds out there starting to redevelop, especially from Greenville East. Closer you get to the coast, the clouds get very low and very thick. And then we're, it's just a rainy day today, right along the beaches of the Carolinas and Georgia. That front's slowing down. And then a low is going to develop, a storm system just off the Carolina coast tonight. Intensify and move up the eastern seaboard could produce some very heavy snow around Boston. It's going to be close call. Cape Cod will probably get a very, very heavy snow later on tonight, but it's going to be a quick burst. Now, we've got a little storm in the upper atmosphere that's going to swing in from the west, and that could grab some of this moisture and bring it back for us. And I'll talk more about that. It's going to be just maybe a slight chance, a slight chance of a brief rain or snow shower for us late this evening or just after midnight tonight across the area. 38 right now in Asheville, 35 degrees in Boone, 43 in Hendersonville, 41 degrees in Franklin. So big difference, very cold wind, uh, a blustery day in through the mountains. But in the upstate, not bad with sunshine and temperatures warmed up into the upper 50s to even low 60s in certain areas. 63 right now, even in Elberton, not too bad. And then through the upstate, uh, temperatures look like this right now. 52 degrees. As I mentioned in Greenville, it's 54 in Spartanburg, 56 degrees right now in Gaffney, 58 in Union, also in Lawrence, 56 in Anderson, 58 in Pickens, also in Wahala, 55 in Greenwood. So much colder temperatures in the mountains and with that wind, look at this, these are sustained, 22 in Asheville, 21 in Hendersonville, giving us a wind chill of 27 degrees. That's what it feels like now in Hendersonville and also in Asheville and very little wind chills to speak of in the upstate as temperatures aren't too bad. 57 right now in Columbia, 48 degrees in Atlanta, look at that cold air to our north. And so once this storm intensifies and moves up the eastern seaboard, it's going to grab this cold air and take it off the mountains and push it very quickly into the upstate. So it's going to be a much chillier day tomorrow across the area. Rain and snow, uh, snow showers continue through the Great Lakes back into the upper Midwest. Uh, temperatures are pretty cold, and here's our first look at this Arctic air just sitting up here. Yeah, a piece of this is going to slide down into the eastern half of the country as we go through next week. A cooling trim. So, 7 o'clock this evening, there's our low intensifying. Some snow showers possible along the North Carolina and Tennessee line. Watch what happens. This is just after midnight tonight. Maybe a few rain or snow showers. No big deal over the upstate, but you might see a few snowflakes. But it quickly heads toward the coastline by morning, and then high pressure starts to build in during the afternoon, and we end up with plenty of sunshine. But this is going to be a cold high that's going to be on top of us for tomorrow. Tonight, mostly clear to partly cloudy skies, a slight chance of that rain or snow shower around the area, low 32 in the upstate, 25 degrees in the mountains. For tomorrow, bright sunshine, north winds at 5 to 12 miles per hour, high only 51 degrees, a few degrees below the average this time of the year. Upper 30s only, and with that breeze out of the north and northwest, it's going to feel even much colder than that. The temperature wise, a nice rebound as far as temperatures over the weekend, and then it gets much colder. We could see a few rain, snow showers Monday and Tuesday in the upstate, with snow showers likely in the mountains. So, very unsettled next week and cold.